So here we are back at the Wallingford Passive House. Uh, we're almost done. We're, we are topped out. We're working our way back down, cleaning up and tidying up and putting in additional back framing. Um, so right now we're, though, we're looking at some of the more complex systems uh, during our installation uh, framing installation process. So our, we have a, a more complex form in the, around the building we talked about the other week. Um, so just case in point, here we have uh, this really nice big structural steel beam that's carrying the whole wall system above uh, and part of the roof load. And uh, so this is our thermal envelope. This is our, the ceiling of our master bedroom coming down at the slope, coming to the building. Um, we're going we're to have a big uh, cricket on top, so make sure we, we're shedding our water in the appropriate directions, having a really good installation above. So what we've got is a fairly complex uh, uh, thermal envelope and air barrier coming down here, uh, down to the house, and then we're transitioning and going up. So what, we're, what we really wanted to do with, in this building is um, just build the shell and then add that nice wool sweater on the outside. So what we, we were able to put our air barrier in a nice, really protected location, it buried within the exterior thermal envelope, and detail it appropriately and then head vertically above it. So here we are in the back, uh, the back deck of the Wallingford Passive House. One of these complicated situations that we really had to make sure we we're dialing in as we we're building the building. So behind this foundation wall is our insulation. So down in the basement, this is our air barrier but it's insulated from the inside. So inside that there's four inches of foam and then a interior framed wall. So that's our thermal envelope. Well, our thermal envelope transitions to this deck. This is a back little porch lit area. The door is all the way on here. So we have to transition our air barrier from here to here to here, across to here to the doorway. So our air barrier is coming here to here to here to our window going up. Oh, and then up above, it's coming back out and going vertically again. So our plane above our, our doorway, it jumps back to the outside plane out here. So we're going, we've got a little innie door here and we just need to make sure it's detailed for air tightness, for thermal efficiency, for long-term durability, and, uh, and just for us, the, all the aesthetics that the architect wanted on this project. So it's a really good package, but it made for a more complex integration during this critical framing stage. So here we are and reviewing another spot where we've got the, uh, the sort of the transitions where we need to make sure we account for uh, thermal bridge free, airtight, structurally sound and watertight uh, applications. So air barrier, WRB behind our insulation going down, our exterior sheathing, it's got another deck where we're gonna hit that deck. We're gonna, we're gonna air seal at that deck below it on top of the deck is going to get a uh, is going to get some additional insulation. And then we're going to integrate this WRB to the top of that uh, that deck there, where with a continuous TPO membrane. So complex situations. Uh, exterior wall air sealed coming across our roof, uh, where we're going to air seal it, but it's no longer the WRB. Then transitioning to the WRB and then going up again into a wall. There's going to be a nice big window. Uh, sorry, a door here with access to this deck. And then similarly up here. We've got uh, the, the, the ceiling plane coming down with the roof above where we're coming towards the house. The, the, the air barrier is the top sheathing layer. We have to air seal that before we put the, um, the secondary layer of roofing structural framing. Uh, and so that all had to be air sealed before we could build that and, uh, and integrate it into this exterior wall and then it goes up. So our air barrier comes down this exterior wall, goes up this roof plane, hits the outside wall, then comes down the outside wall again. So it's making a few jumps. And so the critical point was to make sure we hit all of those spots during framing. Uh, you can always remediate it down the road, but wow, what a pain. So if we can hit it all right now, understand where it's, there, where, where it's gonna be a critical moment, uh, it's just, uh, that's, that's when we wanna hit it, right then, during framing. So. Uh, just a more complicated process.